In the second part of this video on the ballistic pendulum, we worked part B, which says how much work was done by the block upon the bullet. Well, the net work is equal to the change in the kinetic energy. And by the thing we're looking for, by the block upon the bullet. So the this is the bullet's kinetic energy. And the force that the block is is the interaction force during the collision. So what we're looking at here is one half times the mass of the bullet times the final velocity of the bullet, or final speed of the bullet squared, I should say, minus one half the mass times the initial speed of the bullet squared. And that will give us the work done in the collision. And remember, in a collision, because it occurs so fast, the only force that can do work is the collision force. So, W net is one half, the mass in the bullet was 2.4 grams, which is 2.4 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms. And then the final speed was 100 meters per second, which you square, and then you subtract. And we found the other speed was 73,517 meters per second. We square that. And you can see that we're going to definitely end up getting a negative amount of work. That is, the block slowed the bullet down. So, need our calculator. So... Let me pull my calculator out and I get an incredibly large negative number minus six four eight five six eight seven joules. Let's see. That's like minus six point four nine megajoules. Now, if that occurred in one second, that would be like 6.49 megawatts. To give you an idea, you know, a nuclear power plant is between 50 and 80 megawatts. So, but this thing didn't occur in one second. This probably occurred in an, a millisecond, which means that this is more like a gigawatt. So, it's more like, you know, a hundred times the power change that you get out of Comanche Peak Nuclear Power Plant. So, first of all, I think that's ridiculously too large of a velocity here. But there is something to be said about that. The amount of energy that's dissipated in a very short period of time in a collision can be tremendous. And it can be a lot more than you can get, for instance, by burning natural gas or coal or what have you. Collisions are violent, incredibly violent things. And they can do tremendous things for us. They can enable us to see how the universe was years ago. They can act as a time machine, if you will. If you want to use something to crack something open, a very short, quick snap hitting something will enable you to do that, you know, whereas a tremendous force pushing on it won't. On the other hand, if you didn't mean to be in a collision and you're in a car collision, then the forces on your body can actually be tremendous. And if the part of the organs of the body are held fixed in one place and not in the other, they can stretch the organs. This can cause rupture, this can cause contusions, and other things that can cause death, if not just serious bodily injury. So you should really appreciate the tremendous physics of a collision. All right, that finishes this problem.